is at the spot. The explosion that took place at Bengaluru's popular Rameshwaram cafe. As many as four people were injured after a mysterious object exploded inside a cafe. The injured persons included three staff members and one customer. Now, according to initial reports, an object placed in a bag exploded at around 1 p.m. this afternoon during the busy lunch hour when crowds from nearby offices generally line up at the cafe. The area near the cafe and HAL has been cordoned off by cops to assess the situation. The exact cause of the explosion is yet to be ascertained. No, I was told that there was a blast in a cafe and um, um, uh, no cylinder is involved. And uh, they say there is no explosive material. We want to check what sort of a material and all that. Okay. Uh, three people have been injured and they have, they have been shifted to hospital. No, no uh, bigger casualties. Sir, do you feel any mischief involved, sir, or is it a natural, like, uh, electrical? We will know. We will know after the samples they collect uh, fr from the site. Uh, you know, they, they, they will know what sort of uh, material... Uh, was there uh, in in that blast? Okay. There is naturally there will be uh, you know material. If there is a bag, the pieces of the bag will be there, and the, whatever the the explosive the, if there was, uh, they will also collect those materials. Uh, may you know all those things they will collect. My colleague Sagai Raj continues to be at the spot near the Rameshwaram Cafe where the police has reached. The police commissioner is at the spot as well. Sagai, bring us the live report from there because we believe you're telling us that an NIA officer has also reached the spot. Yes, uh, NIA officials are also, also at the spot along with the bomb disposal squad. And now the DGP of Karnataka, Alak Mohan, has also reached the spot here in the Rameshwaram Cafe. As I was telling you earlier, FSL team, NIA officers, Bengaluru police, uh, everybody are at the job to find out what exactly happened, what kind of explosion. They have collected all kind of uh, samples which was available at the stop, uh, spot and they are uh, trying to ascertain uh, w w what kind of explosion was used, whether there, there any kind of improvised explosive uh, which was being used in this particular explosion. But uh, uh, the Home Minister of Karnataka have categorically mentioned that it is not a cylinder blast, it is something else. As we speak now, the investigation is on the DGP of Karnataka, Alok Mohan, along with the Police Commissioner of Bengaluru Dayanand, FSL team, NIA team, and bomb disposal squad. Not bomb disposal squad are at the spot. Okay, so the FSL team, the bomb disposal squad, NIA officials, the DGP of Karnataka, Bengaluru Police Commissioner, they're all at the spot, viewers, as we speak. Because remember that they're still trying to ascertain what exactly was the cause of this explosion that injured at least four persons who are currently receiving medical attention at nearby hospitals. We'll try and see if any of those police officials on the ground are speaking with the media at the moment. Sagai is there as we speak. Sagai, if you can bring us any live updates, uh, likelihood of uh, the Bengaluru Police Commissioner or any of the police officials uh, briefing the media. So far, uh, none of them have given any kind of uh, uh, official press release or official uh, statement on this particular blast. Only the Home Minister of Karnataka, G. Parmeshwar, has spoken about this and said that uh, it is not a cylinder blast. As we speak, now you can see in the visuals that DGP of Karnataka, Alok Mohan, along with the Police Commissioner of Bengaluru, Dayanand, are heading towards uh, the bomb blast uh, at the Rameshwaram Cafe. And uh, you can see there, that is the spot where the blast has happened. And uh, you can see that the entire place has been uh, uh, completely corded by the cops. And uh, they are uh, trying to collect all available samples at the spot. Remember that they, it is mandatory for the police to ensure that no public or no other media persons reach the spot because it might hamper the investigation.
and that is one of the reason that the entire area has been cordoned and you can see the other senior police officials are also at the spot FSLT which is collecting all kind of samples which is available inside the restaurant and uh, they are trying to ascertain what exactly the reason behind this particular blast whether it is an IED blast or any other blast police are trying to ascertain that okay but Sagai meanwhile okay Sagai just stay on with us Sagai is of course at the spot where the top police officials of Karnataka police Bengaluru police commissioner included they're all there at the spot as at the moment as well Nagarjun Dwarkanath is also tracking all those uh, developments he's joining us at the moment Nagarjun a very very serious uh, claim which has been made by Bengaluru South member of parliament Tejasvi Surya who says that he spoke with Rameshwaram cafe founder Sri Nagaraj about the blast at his restaurant and he says uh, that he was informed that the blast occurred because of a bag that was left by a customer and not any cylinder explosion and one of their employees is injured. It seems to be a clear case of bomb blast is what Tejasvi Surya has said. What are you learning from official sources Nagarjun? Well the official sources have not confirmed if it's an IED blast or any other angle at this point of time uh, because Commissioner, DG, all of them are inside uh, the premises of the cafe right now. They are investigating the spot right now as we speak. So information has not come in yet to say that if that was an IED blast or if there was any other terror angle or if it was any other internal blast within the uh, cafe as well. So we'll have to wait till official word from the DG or the Bangalore Commissioner of Police. What the Home Minister told me the second time also is that I can't comment about any such things till the FSL tells me officially. The FSL department, the forensic department also is collecting samples. So they are saying give us a couple of hours time. So at least to verify if it was uh, gelatin sticks, IED blast or it was an electrical short circuit. Nothing is ruled out as of now. The only thing I can tell you right now, the Home Minister said was the cylinders are intact and it's not a cylinder blast from the kitchen. So every possible angle is being probed. But considering the seriousness of the issue, uh, the DG of Karnataka Police has reached the spot as we speak. That's right. We're getting those live pictures from the spot. As you can see, viewers, Nagarjan, stay on with us. Those are, of course, the top cops of Karnataka Police. The DGP is at the spot himself. Uh, Bengaluru Police Commissioner had reached the spot earlier as well. NIA officials have reached the spot as well the forensic team the bomb disposal squad the, they've all been there since of course uh, this uh, explosion at the rameshwaram cafe in bengaluru's whitefield was reported earlier this uh, afternoon it specifically took place at 12 56 pm this uh, afternoon over four hours ago but they're still to a certain the exact cause of this explosion because of the serious nature of it they are of course investigating all angles not ruling out anything but yes they've said and top cops and the home minister have told uh, our colleagues uh, that this is not a case of a uh, cylinder blast in the kitchen of the cafe nagarjun and sagai thank you so much for joining us we're slipping into a very short break